Yeah, 24-7 on this mush shit Bro, I sold a whole pack inside a marsh pit Watch this You be for bring it or you in the way You be for bring it or you in the way Two in the morning and I'm kind of Premier Bells, no loose chat We are at the rebuild in Manchester If you're with us, make some noise Let's go! Clash of the day, that being said, do want to say rest in peace to Jamal Edwards, an absolute pioneer in the scene. Make some noise. Now, you've seen him before. On the left hand side, the most viewed battle rapper in England ever. In the world! Yeah. Yeah. Co owner of Premier Battles, from Manchester. Yeah. Make some noise for Shots. London, first battle rapper on the fucking URL from London. Representing no loose fucking chat in this bitch. Tally, make some It's a three round battle, shot you on the flip, decided Tally's round one. Round one of you, bro. Nah, you know who's back. Tally. I don't want to hear no loose shot. Or get your whole crew wrapped. What you think I was gonna do, rap? Nah. I'm just gonna kill him. Man alive, you can't do that. Talk. So this is what we waited for. Me and you waging war for the sake of talk, so let's make them talk. No, fuck that! Cause you can save your talk. Acting like you come to help, no loose chat on some save your talk. Talk shit behind our back, but then in our face you wanna act as if you rate us all. Well, you ain't got a leg to stand on. So you gonna need something prosthetic made to walk. And watch me go in out on a limb. Cause we don't need no body part fake support. So you can what? take it all. What? No. What? what? So you can take it all. You a hating fool. Why bother part fake support? You might as well hate and fool. Cause we don't care how big you are or where your name's made it to. Cause you know that game where you take a shot and make eight and fool? Well yeah, you'll see shots then can fall off. Cause with these rounds, that's what I'm aiming to. But first pussy. But first pussy. You got some explaining to do. Cause did you tell people not to come to error versus error? Saying they could catch cold with the pagan flu and you would hate them too. <laughs> well, is that statement true? We caught it. Do you need a couple seconds because we can take a few? <laughs> I know when he's brain is thinking right now, I know who fucking said that and I hate them too. Well, I rate them too. Because they are real ones. Something you was never built from. But now you're on the stage and you're going to have to try and kill one. But you must feel dumb. Because you told them not to come to the event and they still come. Mm. Yeah. And my nigga said if we come to this event and it still comes. Ah. Go. So let these niggas act paro, I'll see to more if I pill one. Mm. But you claim, you claim you've had a hand in this culture, on a real one. Well that's cute or cool, but I think nailed you ain't in touch. Cause from that tip, well what? we know that's how you feel what? Don. What? So it's like you in our garden robin, like a garden robin. Trying to suck seed off the grassroots we trying to build on. Mm. Well, well your crop grew from that guy who preferred to lie his uh, So man you're in this field cause you're part of the bullshit it was built from. Yeah. What? What? You're in a garden robin like a garden robin Trying to suck seed off the grassroots he's trying to build on While your crop grew from that guy who preferred to lie his uh So man you're in this field cause you're part of the bullshit we're built from Yet you expect me to hand him the culture Could we come up here for the rebuild on? Wait, hand him the culture? Like it didn't take us 400 years to rebuild one oh. Well this a... Oh. Talk! Go! Talk to like it didn't take us 400 years to rebuild one well, this a real nigga, not a field one. So you think you can... Talk! Talk! Bro, bro. Talk! 
Yeah. So you think you can sell your premiership to our island and we will jump on board? But well, we don't copy that. But we pirates. So we brought guns on board. So why the fuck would you think we come to pick something when we already brung some corn? Because we are here for the footage and that's all. To get it put on the channel while he'd rather see our foot in a shackle sliding in the field two footed. Like we don't know how to put in a tackle. Mm. To get this battle booked was a hassle because of this one bitch that wanted to fiddle and fix the numbers because he knew once I come to cook he crumble so try to leave us with the crumbs left. Well if you think I'm gonna let Christopher Columbus try to spin around his compass and take away the shit that we've accomplished. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, oh, yeah. 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 So if you think I'm gonna let Christopher Columbus try to spin around his compass and take away the shit that we've accomplished. Well, you don't know who he's in front of. Well, I'm the one that's about to take over and become boss, because round here I'll run shots. This is my shit. This is my shit. And you're about to get killed for a light check. Like you tried to get a light fix fucked about and touched a live wire in a light switch. Well, I'm a live wire. Well, I'm a live wire and if I switch, I grab hold of control and take apart. Just like switch. That's right, bitch. Because if I push a button, then your side slip. So then I guess you assist him from the new gen. Wait, shops, these your new men. Well, I do them like a holy communion. Because you come all to get body and blood, I'm assuming. And when I let him sing at his temple, just watch how I do him. The new king. I said the new king. I come to plug him for control. So if you want to do, call nuke him. But since you want to take it to the street and fight the alpha, you'll get left down right from a left from a light punch on some Akuma movements. If you want to do the what? 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 I said, I said, I said but since you want to take it to the street and fight the alpha, you'll get left down right from a light punch on some Akuma movements. If you want to do the two hands, but my nigga, I'm a raging demon, so out of the blue, I do cans. But listen, because you ain't never, you ain't never been on bootings or seen no shootings. You can never walk on my strip. And if you did, it be the first time this guy will see a scorpion kick. <laughs> but wait, tell a lie. Tell a lie. Because I heard there was a shotty in your cupboard. Well, at a time when you were moving all different bits. And when I say tell a lie, for those who don't know, it actually means the story's legit. Because yeah, there was a shot in your cupboard, but not the way that you thought of the shit. No, nah, because it was shot in the cupboard when they ran up in his crib and then forced him in it. <laughs> so wait, so wait, you got forced to crawl into a cupboard. Wait, wait, the one with the shelf at the top. Well, that's funny, because booking this battle ain't the first time you put yourself in a box. Because all that fake shit and snake shit, I'm just not feeling. So what you think I was going to do rap? No, no I just go kill, kill it. it. Facts. Oh, oh, baby, oh, baby. Oh, baby. Yeah. 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 Some said I wasn't going to show up. Yeah. That's what the talk was about. But I show up to the show down to show up. Shut your reverse is tally. It's a good look for the scene. It's something I thought of. It's my daughter. I watered the nourish the seed. Oh, this God. is me doing for you. Cause trust me, you can do nothing for me. I came and talked to you today, so please keep stung when I speak. You are nothing. You a bum, you're a bug under my feet, you're a bottom feeder, a wannabe, a blood sucker, a leech. I'll stab you in your gut till my thumbs touching your spleen. It's the mafia. Italian blood running the street! Oh. Yes. Oh. 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 Dead, I'll dead. catch I'll catch him looking like a tourist, deep in the streets of Manny. Me and three of the team in balance jump out of the Jeep and grab him, take him to an unmarked location, tie him to a seat and stab him. Tell Snoop we ain't letting him go. Fuck the scoreboard, but we're keeping tally. What's with all this demon cop? Talk. You keep speaking, Aggie. I dare one of these geeks to draw. Even Tally. <laughs> but don't get me wrong, your league's got some decent rappers. This needs to happen, plus Snoop's like the new Kanye. Because he spent at least three weeks in Paris. I thought. Oh! I told my shoe a fuck no loose chat. I want all of them dead. 
He said, rest in peace or a best at least, make sure they can't walk on the legs. I was expecting them to get them bitches Templar or crash and fill them all up with lead. Mm. You see, I never meant tally, but now it's all in his head. Oh. 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 I see, oh God. Talk to him! I see, I see him roll through the ends, clapping at him like congratulations, make his car crash. Tally get totaled like a math equation. What's with all this fake gangster shit? You pussies need to act your ages. I mean, it looks good on paper, but that ain't a real tally like a tax evasion. Ask you, oh! Ask you what the fuck you wanna do. I don't care about your aspirations. Shotgun, I call the judge. Let's see if you can catch the cases. You, oh! you bitch loves my aura. She cooks for me. Wants to have my babies. I mean, my spirit got on making a pot like Patrick Swayze. Oh! Oh! Swayze, little bitch, I could never hand this business over to you. We ain't built the same, it's Vincent Shane. You used to have that edge, but not for this pedigree. Christian Cage versus Triple H. It's the game, it's a shame. So sad that I had to kill him. Put Paris dog in a bag and turn Paris to Paris Hilton. Actually, actually that was brilliant. Remix it for Snoop to tell him he don't want it. And put Snoop Dogg in a bag like Two of America's most wanted. Hey, 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 Don't smile. Because when you look like you, it is nothing a joke about. You are in your thirties and you look like you're a hundred years old now. <laughs> and I don't give a fuck. I'll say Snoop looks like a snitch with my own mouth. Yes. For anyone that's called Snoop, I keep the nose out. <laughs> you let that little pussy Templar fuck up the business and I ain't having that. I'll turn him into a picture you wear on your chain to battle rap. You'll be saying he's looking down on you, sending energy and you channel that. I'll, I'll smoke him like that amulet and make nothing but a good luck charm out of Tally's man. <laughs> That's my first round in! Six thousand! Let's go! Nah! You look like the head! Of the Aryan Brotherhood. <laughs> Tell him again! <laughs> well, I can get ahead to go and air in this brother's hood. <laughs> Face shot. Now, all that's left is the air in this brother's hood. To come London, this stun was shook. Because he heard I'll have him surrounded by wolves. And even though we in Manny, he's still here in our fucking wood. So somebody better tell Little Red Riding Hood to get hiding good before uh -huh. his life get took. Cause his knife I tuck, I let him slide in guts. I get him sliced and cut until his eyes are shut. Or if my man them hold him another side to chop. Then his hand all gold, then this the minus. Pussy, try your luck. Try your luck. Oh. Pussy, try your luck. But just know you get X if you lie to cross. I said, please try your luck. But just know you get X if these lines are crossed. And the whole reason we're here outside because it's me who got you on job, so pussy, I'm the boss. But now it's us. But now it's us against you and the guys you got. I heard there's no space in your graveyard left, that's why I'm scheming to find the plot. So in this case, Ooh. I said, that's why I'm scheming to find the plot. So in this case, I'm the judge. And you're the ones on trial sitting behind the dock. Cause if I bang this hammer, I'm trying to see every one of these guys inside a box. One thing I've realized with shots is he lies a lot. AP, just watch, cause I can count on two hands how many times I clocked. What? First off, what? I said first what? off. Go! They go money like that! I said first off. Well I'm confused by the name that this guy has got. Cause you told man they named you Shotty. Cause you went on a move and held two shotguns inside a spot. But then you told man they named you Shotty, cause you were the main guy around your side that shot. So did you let one rise and pop? Or was it Shaquille O'Neal, the main guy that supplied the block? Which one then, bro, is it? And don't say swear he told or yo we snitched, cause saying you snot, you shot Snow White with his prints, which was on a stick, but those fairy tales they don't exist. And you know how I know this is. 
Cause against daylight, you said you're a white boy from England and back home you never owned a cig and you'd be a phony prick to, st to stand up there and talk about the chrome you grip. Well I'm from England too, where we've seen a load of sticks. Mm -hmm. Load of sticks and unload of sticks. I guess uh -huh. the only time you've been around a load of sticks mm -hmm. when you're on the way back to the home you live. Yeah. Who's home this? <laughs> Fucking tell him! Go! I said the only way you've been around a load of sticks is when you're on the way back to the home you live. Whose home is this? I guess it's only Briggs, because he's the only one who stayed around after you and Sony split. You thought they had you sat in the driver's seat, hand on wheel and the control was his. To the left you sat at the back at the end of the ride, with nothing to show for it. Because you was invested in your, you was invested in your stock rising, and then Sony dipped. So then I guess you lost out on that trade because you're broke as shit. Wait, do you even own your house? Have you even owned your whip? Listen, Premier Battles isn't even yours, it's his. Cause yeah, you got a couple man to endorse it, but everything behind the scene, it falls to bricks. Cause he the water, cement, mortar, all the bricks. The foundation is built on to make it all exist. All of this. Shaz, Briggs! I said, everything by... Let's go. Let's go, let's go. I said, everything behind the scene, it falls to bricks. Cahida cement, water, mortar, all the bricks. The foundation this was built on to make it all exist. All of this, while you just finished washed up, but still use sponge and soak up to absorb this shit. The anarchy tournaments, apex, all events, it's all on him. So yeah, they call you shots. Around here, you ain't the one that's calling them. Mm. Bricks! Yeah. 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 Fucking talk to him! I said, so yeah, they call you shots. But round here, you ain't the one that's calling them, Briggsy. This is basically ours and your event. <laughs> this is basically ours and your event. So even though he's the one that gonna pay for it, it gonna be at your expense. Cause you've opened up doors for him, put on tours for him, and he struggles to even promote your league to his audience. And this is what you call a friend. You probably had to pay his mortgage rent. And to get those notes, you have to stretch and squeeze like an accordion. But according to him, but according to him, but according to him, this is, but according to him, this is his baby. No, this is Briggs' baby. Cause while you were busy mimicking MGK and Slim Shady, he was in the kitchen. Cause why? Briggs don't walk in noise. But he thinks this is his baby. No, this is Briggs' baby. Cause while you were busy mimicking MGK and Slim Shady, he was in the kitchen whipping up Bizdo, making sure everything gravy. Cause he, cause he the business. Oh, 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 he was in the kitchen that? whipping up Bizdo, making sure everything crazy. Cause he the businessman and you just part of the business plan. Cause yeah, we know your name associated would help lift the brand. But just imagine if you've kept and shared a post on your Instagram. Could you do it with Soft Pro? But then why not with this brand? Is it because you know with this that Briggs the man? But with Sub Pro, you want to try and play Vince McMahon. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd do him stone cold if I lift the can. Looking like a nursery kid in glue. Well, I'd do him like stone cold if I lift the can. Looking like a nursery kid in glue. Stick in hand. So if you don't get hit when it click and bang, I'll have one extra on deck if it missed the jam. But fucking. Oh! I said, Come on. but back to your Instagram. <laughs> Five minute round. Cause don't these narcissistic bitches make you sick? Yeah. It's mad how I actually used to rape this prick. Until like a month ago when Mac exposed you had a fake blue tick. So wait, for those who don't know about this account, go on his Instagram right now, press the three dots in the corner and see if you can see about this account. No. Well it won't. But it will if you check the other verified accounts that's about. <laughs> and while you're there, go check his fake following and see if you can count the amount. Yet yeah, you think you wouldn't see an L when he's been out for the clout. Pussy, get out of my face, man. <laughs> Round two and wow, dude, where do I even start? Let's talk about those face times we had at the beginning when we first conceived this card. I said I wanted to face the best at No Lose Chat. Give me someone that you see as a star. Someone who can compete or at least just spar with decent bars that you and the NLC team believe in hard. And you came back 
with you. <laughs> Because you believe you are. You saw an opportunity to live out your dreams and finally leave a mark. Well, if home is where the heart is, you must be one of them people that sleeps in parks. You're heartless. Oh. You put yourself before the roster like the greedy fiend you are. When I see at least five that would have given me a better battle. We all know who those people are. Because after all, I came back to pass the torch to someone who could actually leave the charge. But oh, oh no. You know how these old don't flop rappers' egos are. Huh? <laughs> and Tally's using nepotism to get position over people who actually bleed the art. When, when you are nowhere near the best on no loose chat. You can't compete with half. This battle should have been me versus Rivers, but Snoop and Paris are too busy eating ass. Yeah. Oh! Rivers is ten times the battler you have ever been. Don't believe me? Read the recent charts. It's funny how you and Rivers are leagues apart and now literally leagues apart. But, oh, no. <laughs> but I came to show respect. I would have battled Mocha Tech and he knew that. Put me against one of these young gunners and we can really see who raps. I probably would have to talk in Fortnite to these new man. <laughs> well, I got a body on this card without the reboot van. Shy buddy. <laughs> I said, sh shy bodies tally every time. We could have told you that for years, but you keep thinking your time's coming, and now you're hoping that it's here, but it's your roster that pays the price. You put a hold on man's career. From top to bottom, you could almost cry the way he's holding back the tears. <laughs> a, promoter, a promoter taking his rapper's opportunities. How stupid. <laughs> I mean, that's some fucked up shit when it really comes down to it. <laughs> that's like me finding out Bizzo's going to Canada. I phone Gannick up. <laughs> He's in the house cooling. <laughs> I'm like, Travis! Don't fly Bizzo, I'll have him scribbled out. <laughs> and I'll do it. <laughs> oh, no. That's like Briggs is in the office in the admin is boring him. Rick's editing pictures on a map where the corner is. Stroll's thinking of ways we could be maxing the audience. And I'm like, I want to be in the anarchy tournament. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! I'm a grown ass man, so I don't go in the forums. I haven't saw one of your battles since me and Rowan was talking. Whoa. But I did see some NLC clips that you posted up for them and wondered if they know there's no more COVID precautions and you can have a social performance, because, wow! Well, there was a couple peeps. I could see Funky D and a tumbleweed. Everyone in the club had at least a hundred meter circumference reach where they could have spun like Booker T and wouldn't touch each other's feet. And I was like, oh, yes, Everyone in the club had at least a hundred meter circumference reach where they could have spun like Booker T and wouldn't touch each other's feet. And I was like, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why didn't Tally come to me? Why would he book a venue that he doesn't need? You should have stepped into my office for coffees or maybe even a cup of tea and some custard creams. And that'll give you a venue you can handle and let you and Snoop use a cupboard each. Oh. <laughs> Lying about selling out venues on Twitter. I guess these days these are the depth. You lot did not sell out Brixton Jam, you fucking liars. <laughs> so what, you're just gonna tweet it instead? Yo, Briggsy FaceTime me the whole fucking show, so please don't act like I didn't see the event. <laughs> and all that Space Jam show told me in the end, it was just a big reach for the net. <laughs> Time to take your final breath. You said you're doing all this Akumo shit, but you can die a thousand deaths. Yeah! Second round in, say stop, bless. I got one more round of plenty more space in the graveyard.
Cause you went online doing a whole load of damage control after GWE was on your league saying some racist shit. Then uploaded it to Facebook and replayed the shit. Pussy, I saved the clip. Mad how I said I saved the clip. Cause I had reasons to kill you already, but now I got more shots, lucky I didn't raise the stick. But then you came on our phone, saying you wanna battle on no loose chat on some savior shit. And that racism in battle rap, there ain't no place for it. Right. Mm -hmm. You then said you're a guest in our house, but then don't that change the script? Cause how's this you giving me a plate? and a place to sit. Well my, well, my privilege ain't the same as his. And he stated this, and told us what it's like being a white boy in our culture and what he gained from it. The major rep, trips on planes and jets, connects on celebrities in different states he met. He then said it would be 10 times harder for me as a black man to recreate and retrace his steps. And when he said that, I was like, wait a sec. Is he trying to take the piss? But does he know the struggle as a black Brit that we face in this? Not just in UK battle rap. I'm talking day to day in the place we live in, a society where we get treated like a face don't sit. But then from a culture, they vulture and take away from it. And that same culture, you wouldn't have made it big. They wanna use your privilege and rub our face in it. Well, this is where I changed the disc. Well, this is, well, I'm about to change the disc, because this is where the game was switched. So forget the fake image on screen that they project, because CGI could not render the same effect. Because I am real. Because I am real. And the one that the real ones, they respect. Well, Adam, you is fake as shit. And I could take a bet, he the type to snake his set. <laughs> well, Adam, you is fake as shit. And I could take a bet, he the type to snake his set. So after this, we gonna see if they'll be on their side like a take cassette. <laughs> Cause after G Double was on your league saying some racist shit, this nigga even tried to switch and put the blame on Briggs. Snoop, am I lying? No. Or did he not say some shit? That's like, like Briggsy couldn't tell us what a racist is because he never came up in the bits and couldn't relate to it. But you know what fucking makes me sick? And if I was those guys to help you go to gym and raise and lift, I'd get your raise and lift. Because you told man, Bobby and Raptor ain't no mates of his, because they were both catalysts of this racistness and would never step another foot on another stage of his. But then the anarchy and apex stage they did. Well, I guess it weren't his stage because he don't pay for shit. <laughs> now I would say, swear to God, but you a Satanist and a snake which is the representation of what Satan is. You probably a mason bet. But watch me separate homes in this building when I get this masonette. What? What? Could they what? say? Could they what? Said, what? Said, what? You know, what? Said, what? If I was a mason. Bro, you know what's Could they out. say? This is horror movie. Bro. Well, this black boy don't die here like Jaden Smith. Huh? But fuck it. Huh? But fuck it. Let me break down and explain some shit and tell them why this battle in the first place exists. Cut. You went from helping a black league and doing this battle for free, right? To saying that you wouldn't do this battle if we didn't get your fee right. And that shit got my team tight. But I told them it's clown because good games is what it's be like. Cause when you see that dull eye red shots, well I knew I had to get ready to move the green light. Like, uh, but you know what it seemed like? <clears throat> you know what it seemed like? Cause you tried to use BLM to try and save your league. Mm. Saying you battle on no loose chat for free and wave the pee. Mm. But now it costs us an arm and a leg for us to pay your fee. Mm. When in the beginning I thought you were just trying to take the knee. How much did you pay for this venue? <laughs> well, 75% was the pay receipt. What's going on? Man? Because 75% 75 was the pay received. Yet you want to lie to the fans and sell fairy tales that they make believe. They say he's in a different pedigree and I can't tame his breed. That's why I'm here to dog walk him and take the lead. But wait, could see. But wait, could see. Ain't this the same shit you accused Danny Jack of just too? Saying he would do something for BLM but didn't actually do. You went to the extent of holding the whole spaces for dude. Well, it's like it was our fault, you lost your mate's place in the queue. Because all along, bro, we should have been holding the spaces for you. Uh -huh. But I get it. Because you a narcissist. And to jump online for them to give your ass a kiss, you can't resist. Because being narcissistic in part consists of leading in authority, arrogant self-admiration, entitlement and superiority. Which is kind of like vitamins if you want to swallow C. Because you embody all of these qualities. Look, honestly, what does man even do? Apart from Poles and Vogue, yet you never seen a magazine shoot. Well, if we get these Poles involved, you end up in the back of these boots when you get ate from this chopstick like Japanese food. So they gonna say, so they gonna say, so they gonna say a sore off shotty with a sawn off shotty. But when they looked in his casket, well, they saw it's not shotty. Because all that fake shit and snake shit, I'm just not feeling. So what you think I was gonna do, rap? No, just go get it!
But now, you've never been top tier. You had potential, but you lacked the drive. Back when you had the chance to shine, you acted like you didn't have the time. You lacked passion. You wasn't trapping right. You had no appetite. Now you passed your prime. You came back to grab some hype because you got no traction in rap and grime. But your spot's been filled by your new crop of killers that's passed you by and lacked you twice. I'm talking Bizzle, Visual, Jester, Celesto. Sammy Hypes, Cole J, Georgie, Rivers, Mackenzie. She even yan at times. <laughs> I don't want you, I don't want you man, I don't want you man thinking he's ahead of you in any way. It's a pack of lies, let the fans decide. They'll tell you he's behind you like a pantomime. When I was full time, when I was full time, we had a rapid rise. Full house, packed it wide, everyone was jammed inside. I left, it did. I came back, it came back to life. Yeah. I left again, I left again, the mood dropped, the views flopped, you lot. Go and check the graphs and pies, the YouTube viewers moved on, they found new hobbies, the stats declined, the newcomers are getting, but they was getting 50k and shit has changed, cause, I mean, these days they're barely scratching five, but, don't worry, I'm back. The algorithm will start acting right. Come on, come on. And I got three lit rounds, all different. If the traffic light, I want his, oh! I want his, I want his fucking, I want his fucking soul. I'm gonna take it from him. This is the greatest of it against a basic novice. This is, this is labour jogging to David Goggins. This is, this is, uh, this is Agent Orange to Jason Orange. I, I gave it to you. Any way you want it, on beats you and your mates was bodied Taking losses but gaining from it Cause before I talked on your league It was a falling tree in a made up forest <laughs> Did it really exist? No. Till I brought it up and it became a topic As soon as I mentioned it You saw engagement rocket, great responses All of a sudden new patrons flocking I made it popping but Not all promotion is good promotion Especially when you're facing shot you. I set it up like the Undertaker Cause all throughout the promo I was making coffee. Come on! Come on! I got my head on. set on talking. Like I commentate wrestling. Cause I got some shit to grill him on soon, but for now. Yeah. I said I got my head set on talking. Like I commentate wrestling. Cause I got some shit to grill him on soon, but for now, bars, I gotta take precedent. I said come and take wrestling for a reason. Cause when the cops take came to take evidence, they'll just see a body on the desk with the brain next to it. You! Yes! Never evolved, time changed. You didn't adapt to it, your shit's stale. Same old, it's embarrassing. Fuck this car! Ask Tally what the tally is. I just came to stab him in his head because he counts on old fashioned shit. Look at me! Look at me! Dancing around all these dead bodies. Michael Jackson thriller, Jack the Ripper, massive shiver. You try. Look at me. Dancing around all these dead bodies. Look at me. Dancing around all these dead bodies. Michael Jackson, Thriller, Jack the Ripper, Massive Shibble, show me what he had for dinner. They said being able to get people put in a box ain't a toy. I should be acting bigger. But I said that number I put on your head will actually get the job done. So that's an action figure. Oh! Is this your leader? I'll meet the captain with decapitation. Fuck all this come by ass shit. I can't believe these men are faking. Don't think I don't see them little tweets that you're making Cause I wanna get even when I retaliating oh! I told you you don't want it I told you you don't want it Sometimes you have to take advice You are not as good as me, how could you be? I am the man that made the vibe You are basic You've never faced a rapper the same caliber as mine He said I'm just gonna kill him They said you can't do that <laughs> And this time Tally they was right <laughs> Best to ever do it. Did you want man to say it twice? Get your face jabbed off your neck if we have to break the ice. This guy called me out, and for that, he's gonna have to pay the price. 
So step foot over that line, it's the end of Tally Day. Good night. <laughs> And all that shit you said is cool, because I actually respect you. But what, I, I took your opportunity, but you guys literally did not pay a fucking penny for this venue. Did you not? <laughs> I almost did, I almost did Nolan Shepard. Anyway, <laughs> that's my third round in. Say that way. Fuck Shuffle T's book. <laughs> <laughs> was good it's real sick thank you guys for even considering me to judge this battle i'm a big fan of the scene out there big fan of the league um when this got announced i was real hyped because i had seen a couple of tallies battles shoddy's coming back it's dope to see shoddy you know return against somebody that's from out there instead of you know battling big name in the states or something like that so round one um these are the bars that stood out that this doesn't mean this is the only shit that was good. There was a lot of dope shit here, but this is what stood out to me. Round one, Tally goes. Uh, he says his slogan. People say it with him. That's how you know the crowd's ready to go. Um, when he was talking about no loose chat and he had the prosthetic bar, uh, we don't we don't need no body part, fake support. Crazy, crazy. The cuticle th shit leading to the garden robin, the preferred lies, the bullshit. It was built from that writing that he was showing was crazy. That bar was super crazy to me. Uh, the Duke Anuka, Makuma movements, the Street Fighter shit was crazy. And then the shoddy in the cupboard to put yourself in a box, that whole thing connecting. Dope ass shit, Tally. Then shoddy goes, and right off the bat, you could tell the difference in energy. You had the seed line, the Italian blood running the streets. Uh, fuck the scoreboard, we keeping Tally. And then he starts doing, uh, uh, going back and forth between Snoop, Paris, and Tally. Now, this, the way he did it is a vet move because, to me, I know Snoop. Shout out to Snoop. I didn't know who he was talking about when he was referring to Paris. But the way that he's writing it and the way he's performing it, he's letting people know that might not even know the people he's talking about. Like, He's providing the context within the shit that he's saying. The ment tally all in his head. Tally get total like a math equation. The Patrick Swayze ball was crazy. Then, you know, relating Paris and Snoop again with the dog in the bag and America's most wanted. And it ended with the talisman thing. It was, this round was clear. Shoddy had more haymakers, more energy. Both of you guys were direct, but Shoddy's haymakers in the first were just overpowering his cause round he, one I got shoddy round two um Tally's writing in this round I really really appreciate it when yeah. he goes t into the uh AP watch bar and then talking about shoddy's name the loading sticks in the home you live that was crazy he sticks with this rhyme scheme for the majority of the round and like I said that's something that I Really, really appreciate going into the show for it bar was crazy. And then they call you shots, but you ain't the one calling them. That was crazy. This hours and yours event, but it's still, even though he paid for it, this at your expense, you open doors for him. That whole thing is super crazy to me from Tally. But then he ended kind of dry to me with the verified check thing. Shoddy comes back with the, uh, you know, I asked who's the best and you came back with you. Uh, lots of jokes, personality, almost cry, the way you holding back the tears. He was he was really breaking down, you know, his angle of, yo, I asked who's the best and you came back with you. And I thought that was really funny. Um, then he talked about Tally, you know, lying about selling out events in the Space Jam bar. That was super crazy. The big reach for the net. And then he rebuttaled the Akuma shit. Now, to me, Shadi started great and he ended great. 
but there was a lot of shit in the middle of it that I felt like Tally's round was more substance. So I edged the second round to Tally. I had a 1-1 going into the third. I had to watch that round back the most because that, that was a debatable round to me. Third round, you know, Tally was breaking down privilege. I thought that was fire. The CGI, same effect. More dope writing from him. The pay for shit, Satanist, Satanist, Mason. Uh, that whole shit was crazy. The green light squid games was cool. Um, arm and a leg to pay the fee, take a knee. That shit was crazy. The narcissist bar was dope. And the uh, eight from the chopstick, the Chinese food thing. Crazy. Um, dope writing. Uh, but then Shotty kicked back up in this round, in my opinion. He was shouting out the new talent, which I thought was... You know, very honorable of him to do. The Yan bar was funny. Uh, he was talking about his own impact. I thought that was fire. I'm back, so the algorithm's going to start acting right. That was crazy. The, and then, the, uh, so I brought three lit rounds, all different if the traffic, like, that whole thing was crazy. And his wrestling, you know, Shadi loves the wrestling bars. He had uh, Gorilla Monsoon, Jesse Abadi, the brains next to it. Crazy. I thought this bar was super creative when he said, as Tally with the Tally, you stab him in his abacus, he counts on that old-fashioned shit. Abacus, that, that's crazy. Oh. He flipped Tally's slogan, and he ended it with the Tally Day the Night bar. This one was another round that I thought went to shoddy. More haymakers, more punches. All in all, what I want to say is both Tally and Shadi were super direct, which is very important in a battle. The only difference was the majority of the time, the angles that Shadi took ended in a bang. And, and what Tally was saying, as dope as it was, some of the shit didn't end in a bang. And that was the difference in this battle to me. I really, I really appreciate Tally's writing. Um, but when you're battling a vet, and this is something I'm even learning now. When you're battling a vet, somebody like Shadi, you have to, you have to make sure that there's a payoff to the shit that you're saying. You know what I mean? Um, dope battle. Shout out to both of you guys. Shout out to Premier Battles. Can't wait to come back out there. And yeah, appreciate you guys. Jersey. Hey yo, it's your friendly neighborhood Uncle Tone, man. Here for the rebuild. No loose chat versus Premier Battles. Shotty Horror versus Tally. Uh, I took notes for this battle, man. Now nah, I'm lying. I started to take notes, man. But life is short and I'm getting on. Um, but yeah, I watched it several times. Um, fire battle. Both of them repped to their fullest. Both came, both came and showed why they are really good at what they do. Um, I'll keep it short and sweet, though. Uh... If you want me to go into it, have a word of yourself, mate. It's not that deep. Um, I got shotty with a gentleman's 30, man. Uh, Tally came out swinging. A lot of punches, lots of schemes. Um, i got to say, both of them, very, very good angles. Aside from the um, the blue tick angle, like both of them executed their angles really well. An important part of battle rap is like, it's not just picking a subject to go at somebody. It's how do you how do you tie it all in? How do you attach punchlines to it? Uh, and both of them gave like a masterclass on that man. It was really really good. Um, but yeah, shout out Tally for a crazy battle. Big up Shotty Horror. Big up No Loose Chat every day. Shout out Premier Battles every day. Uh, the UK is in a very very good place for battle rap right now, man, and it's very much appreciated. Uh, and yeah, like I said. I got shotty with a gentleman's 30, man. Um, nobody, but yeah, he did enough each single round to take that, man. Dope. All right, Uncle Tone, I'm out, man. Peace. Premier. First of all, justice for Charlie. Second of all, I'm humbled you guys picked me again to judge. Cap tip. Look at all this bullshit I got up here. Ah, shoddy versus tally, though. Just to let you know, good people of Premier, I will never let you down in judging. And so you can see here, got all my notes. This is all after one watch. This is that teacher shit. But um, we got to keep this one short and sweet. Uh, round one, I had Shoddy Horror taking it. 
Um, round two, I thought was a push. I thought it was even. Uh, if I had to edge it to someone, I would say Tally. And round three, I said Shoddy. I think this battle comes down to um, someone who raps very well and stays on the same uh, like rhyme scheme and ending word. And that's super impressive versus somebody who can literally just do anything. Like Shoddy is a Swiss army knife. He can also do that, but then he has humor. He has angles, he has punches. Uh, he has the, the, the comedy aspects in this. He has timing. He has, you know, parts where he moves through the crowd. Now, Tally definitely had angles for sure, obviously in punches and things of that nature. I just think, Shoddy had, you know, overall throughout the three. I know Tally's third wasn't as delivered as clean. It wasn't like there was no chokes or slip-ups or no shit like that. I just don't think it was delivered as clean as he would like. I think that um, Tally maybe had a couple angles that kind of went on a little bit too long. I thought his second round angles, though, the show for it, Sony thing, incredible. Um, but I think Shoddy was guilty of dragging the one angle a little bit long. But then right when I thought that, he comes back in with the... And that's like, you know, Bizzo going to King of the Dot and I'll go, I'll do it. So it's just one of those things, man, where I think that Shoddy is that good. He just showcases every level. And I had Shoddy in this 2-0. If, again, I have no problem giving a round of time. But if I had to, I, I would say 2-1. Uh, Tally would have took the second. So thank you, Premier. And, and shout outs to both of them. Appreciate you. Yeah, it's 24-7 on this my shit. Bro, I sold a whole pack inside a marsh pit, watch this You be for Brendan, are you in the way?